Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add video transitions using Magic's Movie Edit Pro. Okay, so on my desktop I've got this folder and inside this folder I've downloaded these four video clips from Pixabay and I've also got this audio track. So let's go ahead and open up Magic's Movie Edit Pro and the first thing we do like usual is just drag these four video clips into the timeline and we're going to drop it across the top, top line here. Uh, we'll, we'll deal with the audio in a moment. So the idea here is to add transitions between these video clips. There's a few different ways to do this, but the easy way to do it really is just to click on the second video clip or the third or the fourth one. Let's click on the second one. We're going to transition between the first clip and the second clip. So let's try and zoom in here a little bit for you. So I'll zoom in a bit here so you can see it a bit clearer. So these are the two video clips. I'm going to click on this one here and drag it so it overlaps. Now what I normally do is look at the time. So I know that it finishes on five seconds. But as I'm dragging across, there'll be a little timer at the top. And I'm going to drag it across so that it gets to four seconds here. So that will be exactly one second duration transition, right? One second duration. So let's go ahead and repeat that for the other ones over here. So we drag this across and it finishes on 10 seconds. So I'm going to drag it across to finish on nine second transition so this will be a one second transition in between you can see these boxes these cross boxes here are of the same size so we want to try and get our transitions to be uh, similar right it's quite important so here we're on 26 seconds and 29 frames so we want to be on 25 seconds and 29 frames so let's go to 25 seconds and 29 frames so each one of these clips now or the transitions between them will be of equal uh, duration now actually when you drag them across you've actually created the transition so if I were to click here for example and click play you'll see they'll crossfade across right so that's a nice simple transition where you can just have them crossfading so you don't really need to do anything more if that's what you want that's a simple crossfade transition but let's go and do something a bit more exciting let's say so let's go ahead and click on templates and inside templates you will see all of these transitions across the top so you've got loads of different ones I don't tend to use all of them, but we'll have a little experiment today and we'll see. So you've got like 3D basic. So you can actually click on these and play them and it will show you what the transition looks like. So let's try and drag one of them onto the timeline and we can see how it looks. So let's take this one and drag it over where that transition was originally created. And when we drag it over, it should replace that now with this transition. Can you see how it's going to switch over like this? So let's click play here and we can see them switching over. Now normally when you drag it, you'll see how how large the transition is. Can you see how large it is? This grey box. So that represents its duration. And you can see our transition is quite small. So when we click play, the transition is quite fast in here. Because it's trying to squeeze that total duration, that grey duration there. You can see that duration. It's probably about, let's say around, uh, it's probably about two seconds, right? You can see it's almost double the size of the box above. So it's around two seconds. So we would need to increase this transition for that to run a bit more smoothly. So just bear that in mind. Some of these transitions are quite fast. Some of them are quite slow. So you can just drag and drop anyone that you like. Normally I go to shape here and I'll use something quite simple like circles. Or I quite like to use this one here. The circle from left and circle from right. So let's drag this one here. You can see it's of a very similar size. One second. And we just drag and drop it on top. And that will replace the previous transition that we added. If we click play, we can see that nice transition now. Now normally I'll do one from the left and then I'll take this right one and I'll drag it onto the next transition and then we'll move across the timeline and we'll find our final transition and then I'll drag the left one here again as well. So now when we click the play button, let's just go back to here for example, we click play, the transition will come from the opposite direction. So I like to use these simple shape transitions, they're quite nice and you can experiment I would advise that you don't use too many different combination of transitions, but you know, at the end of the day, it's your video clip. You can choose whatever transitions you want and you can put them in any order and any permutation. So you can have them from the left and right. You can go wild and just do loads of different random ones. Depends on what you're trying to achieve. So I'll leave you to experiment with these. You can click on any of these boxes and you'll get all different types of transitions. Let's maybe experiment with a couple more. You've got this uh, fade through black let's see what that one does let's drag that one here let's click here and click play and it just fades through it's just like a crossfade really isn't it just like what we did before let's try this one this one is a flexible crossfade so let's see what that one looks like so that's just like a, um just a almost like a see-through transition trans, uh, crossfade right you've got a zoom here 
let's check out the zoom and that one will zoom in from the corner you can almost see the shape in there it's kind of telling you what it's doing uh, let's try this one it's almost like a page flip type transition where it's flicking over a page those are like the transition basic ones there's the shape ones there's movement as well so you can try this one here let's try this one that's quite a long one isn't it let's see this one here let's see what that one looks like and you've got these nice little ripple fade effects but other nice ones like these little block effects as well so you can see there's a lot of different options in here there's too many for me to go through one by one so i'll leave you to go and experiment normally i'll click back here and drag the original transition put it back here i quite like these simple ones uh, but they're for you to go and experiment with now. So now that you know, you need to overlap your video clips first. Try and keep those transitions similar. Or if you do like one second, maybe another one might be two seconds. Try and keep them of a consistent sort of transition size. And I think things will work out a little bit better for you in your video editing and your content. Just a quick tip. Maybe one thing that you might want to do is fade from black. So you can drag this handle at the top here in the top corner. Drag it across here. Let's say around one second, something like this sort of duration. And then at the beginning, your video clip will fade from a black and it will start to gradually fade in like this. So that's kind of a transition, you could say. That's like fade to black, right? That type of transition. And you can go right to the end. Let's get towards the end of this clip and then we can fade that one out as well. So it will fade to black towards the end. And then you can just go and add your audio clip. So let's, in fact, add some audio quickly. Let's just go back. Let's go back to the folder and we'll drag this audio clip into here. I'm going to set it to quite a low volume. So there's a little handle in the middle here. You can drag it down and set it to maybe like minus 12 dB, something like this. It will be quite quiet in the background. And then you can go back, click play. Now you've got a nice little audio track. You can even fade that audio track in as well. So you could fade it over a long duration, something like this. And we click play and the audio track will fade in and the video clip will fade in. Then we can go to the end of the video clip finally and we'll cut it. So we'll click here just towards the end of this video clip. We'll click on the audio, cut it, delete the end of the audio clip. And then we can just drag across here to fade out the audio towards the end. Okay, that's it. Let's minimize this. Let's close this. That's how you go about adding video transitions using Magic's Movie Edit Pro. I hope you find this tutorial useful and I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP web tutorial.